the idea and concept behind nanoscience and technology started by the talk given by famous physicist Richard Feynman entitled this plenty of room at the bottom you all must have heard about the word nanotechnology somewhere in any high-tech sci-fi movies like Iron Man to understand the term nanotechnology let's talk about the term nano Nano has come from a Greek word called nanos which means dwarf. Nanometer is a unit of size which is a billionth of a meter. Okay, so if I have to demonstrate you how small nanometer is, then I would prefer to take an example of newspaper. Newspaper. The thickness of newspaper is roughly around 100,000 nanometer. Suppose if a marble were of nanometer size then 1 meter would be the size of the earth now you can imagine how small the nanometer is so why it is important to learn nanotechnology the answer lies in the statement made by chad merkin that everything when miniaturized to sub 100 nanometer scales has new properties regardless of what it is nano particles are so small that they are made up of only few atoms as compared to their bulk counterpart making them behave differently due to its enhancement in its properties taking an example of gold which is a shiny yellow color substance which generally doesn't react but if you break down gold into nano sized it's not only start showing variable color from red to blue but also start acting like a catalyst now the question is why nano scale things acts differently from its bulk counterpart so one of the major reasons behind this change is that when we go to a smaller scale the surface to volume ratio of our particle increases in the case of bulk materials the atoms at the surface are relatively less but at nano scale the surface area covered by atoms increases let's understand this by an example of a bowling ball in which the vast majority of atoms are inside the ball with very few atoms at the surface only these few atoms are able to interact with the wooden lanes now break the ball to several nano size particles those atoms which were initially interacting themselves are now came at the surface and begin to interact with the wooden lane atoms these atoms begin to contribute very significantly to the overall properties of the material that's the reason why surface area increases in nanometer size particles when the particle size is made to be nano scale properties such as thermal chemical optical magnetical electrical properties changes nano scale materials are used in everything from cosmetics to textile to defense to healthcare and what not computers were of room size when they were introduced and now they are sitting on our laps with the help of nanotechnology using nano materials which reduces the size of transistor helped in decreasing the size of computer and other communication devices now let's talk about some most important applications of nano materials that you may not know trousers and socks which you are probably wearing right now have been infused with nanotechnology so that they will last longer and keep people cool in the summers bandages are also being infused with silver nanoparticles to heal cut faster silver nanoparticles are used in food packaging clothing disinfectants and household applications because of its antibacterial properties titanium dioxide and zinc oxide nanoparticles are used in sunscreen cosmetics surface coating and some food products talking about the nanoparticles importance in the medical field by the help of nanoparticles we can now diagnose and treat cancer specifically without even affecting to the healthy cells today's scientists and engineers are finding different ways 
to intentionally make materials at a nano scale to take advantage of their enhanced properties such as lighter weight, high strength and greater chemical reactivity than their large scale counterpart. So this is our first video in the journey of a nano world. In the next video, we will bring about the latest research and technology going on in this field. So stay tuned to the channel and subscribe it now if you don't want to miss the action. Also comment me down below which application of nanoparticles amazed you the most. See you in the next video.